I'm CM Coleman, welcome to my home. Today is our first part, and this is only a one part video, but it will look like it's divided up into two parts, cause it is. We are making orange vodka, orange vanilla vodka. Yes, orange vanilla vodka. This is so cool, and it came about from doing things like cherry, vod cherry vanilla vodka. It's really easy to make, and you can use, and I didn't know, but I didn't think about this before, if you make your own homemade a homemade vanilla extract, this is one of the vanilla beans from the vanilla extract. I'm going to fold it in half. Now, it's already been split since it was in the vanilla extract. I'm just going to dump that into my two cups of vodka. How simple is that? Then I took an orange, this is just an orange, and I used a vegetable peeler to peel off the rind or the zest of it. Then we're going to take the zest of one orange, Put that in there. Let's clean this up just a bit. Then, once everything's all cleaned up, I'm going to seal it up, give it a shake, and then I'm going to let this sit. We will let this sit for about a month. Every week I will come back and check on it and give it a nice big shake, and we'll be back in one month to make it in to finish it up, and we'll take out the solids and all that fun stuff and see how it looks. Now, some of you right now are saying, well, this would taste better as a liqueur, you know, with sugar in it. Maybe, but the cool thing about this, making it as a vodka, you can then add your own simple syrup. Oh, I'm jumping ahead. Let's wait. I will explain more about this when we come back in one month where we will have our orange vanilla vodka. It has been one month since we started this wonderful vanilla and or orange vodka. Now today we are going to taste it. Now, I did not strain this out because I think you can leave the, the orange peels in there and I don't think it will, t oh wow. Yes, I got distracted because I can smell the orange and I can smell the vodka. Give it a little taste. Yes. In fact, it tastes like a creamsicle without the sugar. It's not like bitter, but it does taste like a creamsicle and it's really good. I'm actually surprised by how good this is. And so I think I will leave the orange peels in the jar because it will add to the taste of it. That really is good. I'm, I'm really, really surprised by that. I expected it to be a little bit more bitter, but it is not. It is so sweet. Well, all right, sweet's not the word for it. It is so smooth. It does have that alcohol bite, but you can do this it took no time at all, and you can have almost a creamsicle vodka without any sugar to it. If you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Don't forget to subscribe. Every Monday through Friday, I do something different. Thursday is always a cocktail with things that you can make. If you do make this, I'm serious. Let me know down in the comments how yours turned out. And if you did some variations, let me know. Or if there's a recipe you want me to try, don't forget to ask me and I will try to get to it in the comments. Don't forget to check out my latest videos and as always remember, running your house doesn't have to be a full-time job. Turn it into a hobby and have some fun.